Hey guys, it's Danny, and today I am very excited to share my new favorite snack slash breakfast recipe with you guys. It is a three ingredient banana oatmeal cookie. And literally all you need to make these cookies are bananas, oatmeal, and chocolate chips. So it's a very simple recipe to make. And what is so ideal about these cookies is they are great for this time of year because they make a delightful breakfast on the go. They're perfect for lunch boxes, great for after school snacks. It's basically a really easy um, meal to make and it's really good to grab and go. So to get started, the first thing you need to do is grab two medium sized bananas and we're just going to mash them up in a medium sized bowl with the back of my fork. So what I like to do is break them up before I get them in the bowl, just to give them a head start. And then I just mash them with the back of a fork. Now, the bananas I'm using today, were just starting to have some brown spots on them, and this totally works for the recipe. Um, but as you may or may not know, the browner your banana is, the sweeter the banana is, because the sugar start to develop more. So ideally, you want to let the banana sit on the counter for a while. You could use really brown bananas for this recipe, or you could use bananas like I just used. Both will get the job done. The biggest difference is you'll have a slightly different end texture. If your bananas are super ripe, then the uh, cookies will be like a little bit chewier. If they're like mine, the cookies tend to have a little more bite to them, and it's almost like there's more like banana bits throughout the cookie. So like always, make it work for you and use what you have. Once you've got all the bananas broken down, like I have here, and you can see it's basically it's like banana baby food almost, and there are some little chunks throughout. That's the way I like it because I like the texture. Then you are ready to add your oats. You can do either rolled oats or quick oats. Personally, I like to do a combination of the two. Let me show you something very quickly. Good old fashioned rolled oats like these, as you can see, they are still in a whole flake form that have been rolled out. So they're a little bit more hardy than your quick oats, which have been parboiled and just broken down a little bit more. Now, the biggest difference here is that the quick oats are gonna absorb the banana more than the rolled oats would. So really, this is a question of the texture. What's the end game that you're looking for? I have found that I like to do a combination. So I do one cup of the quick oats, and then I do a half a cup of the rolled oats. Now, you could certainly do all the quick oats. That would work, and if all you had on hand were the rolled oats, then what you would do is mix them in with your banana and just let it sit for like 20 minutes, 30 minutes before you make the cookies because giving it a little bit of extra time to sit will, will um, help those oats to absorb some of the banana so the cookies aren't so dry. They'll end up being a little bit more moist that way, okay? And then the final ingredient I have here is a third to a half a cup of mini chocolate chips. One third to a half of a cup depending on how chocolatey you want your cookie. Then you're just gonna get in there and stir all of this together. And what you're looking for here is that the oats are all coated with the banana and well mixed together, but it's a fairly dry mixture. Technically speaking, you could add a little bit of cinnamon or vanilla or a pinch of sea salt to this recipe. All of those would just enhance the flavor even a little bit more. If you tend to like things on the sweeter side, you could certainly add a tablespoon or so of maple syrup or honey. And if you wanted to skip the chocolate chips and do like a nut and a raisin or some dried cranberries, you could do that as well. As always, I want the takeaway to be to take this as a base blueprint recipe and make it your own. Okay, so this is coming together exactly the way I want it to be. You could take a look at the mixture. It looks very similar to a very hearty cookie dough. So once you've got that consistency and everything is mixed well together, you're gonna grab a rimmed baking sheet and you either need to coat this down with a little bit of cooking spray or do like I like to do and lay a silpat mat on there so nothing sticks. And then all I do for these cookies is I take about a heaping tablespoon and I like to put them in my hands and kind of roll it into a ball and then flatten it out. These cookies are basically gonna come out of the oven the way they go in. So they're not gonna do a lot of spreading once they're in the oven. So you really wanna form the cookie before it goes in. And I find this recipe will get you somewhere between 15 and 16 cookies. 
You know, back in the day, I was a big Dunkin' Donuts girl. I would love to go get a cup of coffee and I would get it with like a muffin or a muffin top or some type of pastry that they had there. And then when I began to focus on quality ingredients and uh, leveling up my choices, I started to think, how could I create that same experience with a healthier end result. And something I love about these cookies is that it gives you that same grab and go experience that is absolutely delicious with a cup of coffee, but it's much better aligned with health and or weight loss goals. So if you are the kind of gal or guy who likes to grab a cup of coffee and some type of pastry on the go, this recipe may be just what you're looking for. Then once you've got them all on your cookie sheet, you're just gonna rinse off your hands and then get them in the oven 350 degrees for 12 to 15 minutes or until they're set through. Now, if you are loving the idea of a grab and go breakfast cookie like this one, then you may also want to check out my Almond Joy breakfast cookies, which I shared a few months back and they were very popular. So you could check them out up in the cards over here and I will also leave a link down in the description box below. Mm -mm. So as you can see, they basically come out in the same exact shape they go in the oven. They don't do a lot of spreading. That's why we shape them before they go in. And then they just have a nice light golden brown color on the top. Then from here, what I do is I let them cool down completely and then I'll transfer them into an airtight container and I will store them in the fridge for up to a week if you can get them to last that long. Mm. Mmm, like a banana bread cookie. So good. Mmm, that is so good. Make sure when you give this recipe a try that you tag me on Instagram and Facebook at Clean and Delicious so I can see all the yumminess you're cooking up in your very own kitchens. And if you haven't already, please take a moment to like, subscribe, and share this video with anyone else you know who wants to make healthy eating easy. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Danny Spees. I will see you back here next time with some more clean and deliciousness. Cheers. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. That is delightful. They are absolutely delicious. And if you want to check them out, you can do that right over here, here. Where am I checking them out? You can do that right over here.